Hello, my name is Trident Girl, and today I'm going to be talking about the changes that the new 1.20 update added to Minecraft. The first feature I'm going to be talking about are the chiseled bookshelves. They appear empty, but you can add and remove different kinds of books, including enchanted books and books and quills. You also select the slot that you want to enter the books into, allowing you to use it for redstone purposes as well as decoration and storage. Personally, I really like this new feature because it allows you to store books in a much cooler way than you were able to before. Prior to this update, I'd often see people place looms backwards next to bookshelves to give the illusion of empty shelves. However, with the new chiseled bookshelves, you can not only store books, but also choose how many books go into each bookshelf, meaning you no longer have to pretend that entire shelves are empty and that all the others are full. Another really cool feature is armor trims. We've had diamond armor for as long as I've been playing the game. It looks really cool. It used to be the highest armor in the game before they added netherite armor, which looks even cooler in my opinion. However, their designs have been the same for a long time and you've never been able to customize them before now. You can find smithing templates all over your Minecraft world and add them to your armor using many different materials, including several that you cannot use to actually craft armor. You can customize your armor in the smithing table. Just add your armor, materials and the smithing template that you want. There are many different designs and combinations you can make. I added the wild armor trim to the diamond chest plate using netherite and the silence armor trim to the netherite using diamond. Compared to how the armor looks unchanged, I feel like it looks a lot better with the armor trims. It allows you to make your armor and your character unique. With the addition of the sniffer, I'm going to be taking a look at some of the eggs in Minecraft. First, there's a sea turtle egg, and you can place up to four in a single block. You can collect these by breeding sea turtles. Then there's the dragon egg that most players collect from the end. And this is the new sniffer egg, which is around the same size as a dragon egg, even though it looks completely different. So this is the sniffer egg. And this is the sniffer. It was chosen in the 2023 mob vote. In the game, you're supposed to find the sniffer eggs and hatch them to get sniffers. When they grow up, they'll start sniffing the ground for seeds. You can find two types of seeds, the torch flower and the pitcher pod. You can grow them to create the pitcher plant or the torch flower. They're both brand new plants. We also got pink petals in the cherry blossom biome. You can place up to four in a single block. We've received a lot of new wood types over the past few years. Before there are only oak, spruce, birch, jungle, acacia and dark oak planks. That's only six different wood types, and all of them could only be found in the overworld. However, since the nether update added crimson and warped planks, and the wild update added mangrove planks, we just received cherry and bamboo planks, along with the bamboo mosaic. The wood types are also really nice. The mangrove wood looks very similar to the cherry wood, except the cherry wood is purple. Crimson Hyphae and Warped Hyphae both have a slight animation. Despite being around for a long time, Bamboo only became a block in this update. We also got Stripped Bamboo. Another feature we received was the Piglin Head. It is more three-dimensional and a different shape to the other mob heads. Even though Piglins have been around since the Nether update, we only received the mob head this update. Archaeology has just been added to Minecraft, bringing suspicious sand and suspicious gravel. You can extract items from them using the new brush tool, which can be crafted using string, copper and a stick. You can find suspicious sand and suspicious gravel at several naturally generating structures. 
With the archaeology included in this update, Minecraft also gave us decorated pots. You can craft them using pottery shards and bricks in a crafting table. You can decide how many pottery shards you want to use, and also which side they'll appear on on the finished pot. If you don't have any pottery shards, you can create a pot using only bricks. However, if you do decide to use pottery shards, where you place them in the crafting table will determine which side they'll appear on when you place the pot. I use the prize and the heart pottery shard for this pot. And the shelter and sheaf pottery shards for this one. Another popular feature are the hanging signs. You can place these on the sides of or hanging underneath other blocks. They are more three dimensional than the normal signs but also take a lot more materials to craft, including chains. This is how they look hanging underneath blocks. Like with normal signs, you can also use dye and glow ink sacks on them. This update added two different types of boats to Minecraft the bamboo raft and the cherry boat. The bamboo raft looks slightly different to all the other types of boats, however it does work the same. The cherry boat has the same texture as the other boats. Here I've built two houses, one using cherry wood blocks and the other using bamboo. I wanted to see how the doors, planks and wood blocks would work together. First let's look at the cherry wood. The planks are a very nice light pink colour, while the wood is a bit darker and looks more purple. The cherry door is very different to the original wooden doors. I think it looks really nice. Over here we have the bamboo house. The wood type is green and looks very nice next to the planks which are more of a yellowish colour as though the bamboo had been stripped. The design of the door is also really nice. Let's compare the plants. Bamboo has been in the game for a very long time. It's a very nice looking block and you can bone meal it to make it grow really tall. It also grows very fast, naturally. Cherry saplings and cherry trees are brand new. You can find the trees in the new cherry blossom biomes. As you can see, this tree is very tall and has a pretty pink leaf block. I also really like the particle effects. I hope you enjoyed this video on the features in the new 1.20 update. Hopefully you now know most of the features in Minecraft 1.20. Thanks for watching!